first lesson, St. Luke chapter 12, verse 48. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of strife shall be beaten with few strife. For unto whom soever much is given of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. Brethren, what is read to you is the foundation of brotherhood of the cross and star. This is the sole worker in all parts of the world. Have you not seen this foundation of, in this gospel? Are you not witnessing for him? Are you not seeing these things for yourself? Is there any point in time when you were brought with sickness and you were not cured of your ailment and in addition given food to eat? From the beginning of time this has been the order to distribute wealth to every person and share everything equally with everyone you have been elected in but you do not comply with the order you have failed is there any particular day that there is no food for any person in brotherhood man owns nothing god owns all in brotherhood there is no secret have you not seen the guest house it is not opened for nothing that is the real work of god when brotherhood will start in earnest food will be prepared and kept everywhere in all nooks and corners for people to eat clothes will be kept too wherever you should want to go a motor vehicle will be readily available this new kingdom no person owns anything in this new kingdom everything belongs to god it is time for him to use all his wealth to reveal his glory when you watch carefully you will discover that you are very healthy and strong no person has dominion over you if your family rejects you what else do you want you have already eaten to your satisfaction you have food dwelling place therefore you should not bother yourself with family property what weapon has your family used to suppress you is it not food they give you a condition that if you continue to be brotherhood they will not educate you and you will not be assisted they will disown you and when you turn round to discover that you have no cobra you will have no better alternative than to remain with them even under pains of death you are aware of the system of politics if you do not belong to a political party which holds the reins of power then money cannot be given to you but they want to use the money as an inducement and as a bait to because as a bait to cause you to cross to their party this is what obtains everywhere in the world it was the same trick Jacob applied in usurping the birthright of Esau. This is the order of the day. Tell me why things will be well with a rich man in as much as he has been given wealth by God, but he chooses but he closes the bowels of his mercy and kindness against the poor who are dying of hunger. They do not understand that the wealth is not theirs. They are only caretakers, but they have chosen to reserve all the wealth for themselves 
they do not make use of them, nor do they eat them, nor give to others. You did not come with anything into the world, nor will you take anything with you when you will return. Sometimes you are fortunate to be born into a family with a golden spoon in your mouth where everything has been ready made for you. A very good foundation for your wealth is laid and very soon you become very rich but you bluntly refuse to distribute them to those less fortunate than yourself. What wisdom is there? If you do not contribute your wealth, what then will be used in the furtherance of the work of God to all parts of the world? That is why it is said, whosoever does not comply with the master's instruction as a result of ignorance will be beaten with a few stripes. But when he has known that all the riches bestowed on him belong to God and that he should distribute them to the poor and needy, the afflicted and the wounded to enable them to serve God and so turn darkness into light. If you accumulate all your riches for yourself alone instead of sharing them to your fellow man, the punishment which will be imposed on you is inexplicable. When the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ asked the people, asked the Master to teach them how to pray, what did he teach them? He taught them to pray, saying, Give us this day our daily bread. He emphasized our daily bread day by day has God not given your daily bread whatever is left over after your daily bread does not belong to you you should therefore share the remaining one to others because he will continue to give your daily bread day by day and infinitum whoever does not have this gospel is an abominable man, a child of perdition. But if you receive it and practice it, you will be prosperous, wealthy, healthy, and have eternal life. And the Father will bestow all blessings on you, being regarded as a good storekeeper, into whose care the Father will entrust all is riches. And our Lord Jesus Christ asked, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, to give them their portion of meat in due season? He continued to say, Blessed is that servant whom the Lord, when he comes, shall find so doing of a truth, he will make him ruler over all that he has. Have you not heard the parable of the five talents? The two talents and the one talent? What was the five talents? It symbolizes a person who distributes his riches to others. If he has two coats, he will give one to somebody who has none. And when the father comes, he will be made to rule over an extensive kingdom. If God has given you a lot of money or many children and you reserve all to yourself instead of distributing them to the others, if you inherited land and other property but you refuse to share all to other persons, there is no wisdom behind your action. If you do not distribute your riches to others, you are not only a sympathetic, you are not only 
in a sympathetic situation, but you have also been condemned. What is the significance of one talent? It symbolizes a very thrifty and unkind person. He is a tight-fisted, stingy, and miserly person like you who love carnal things more than things of God. Therefore, whoever has been bestowed with riches and he fails to use them for the good of his fellow man, such a one has his portion with the unbelievers. He is in everlasting fire, burning with brimstone, where he desires for life and there is no life. He desires to die, death runs away from him. Tell it to the entire world that whosoever does not comply with the words of this gospel remains in eternal torment and damnation. Whether you attend church or not, whatever our church denomination is, whether you are a Christian or not, this gospel is for the inhabitants of the earth. No matter what religious affiliation you have, whatever is your religion, whether Hinduism, Judaism, Mohammedanism, Christianity, Buddhism, or any other, God's injunction that if you have much, you have to distribute to others who have not. Whether you are a member of the Resocution, Amok, Ogboni, or any of the secret societies, God tells you to give part of your wealth to others, not as fortunate as yourself. It is not right that you should reserve anything for yourself but rather distribute all your resources to the poor, the pauper, the orphan, the wounded, the sick, and the maimed. Brethren, can you remember what happened to the children of Israel when they were in the desert? In the wilderness, they were fed with manna, which fell like rain from above. Every day, enough manna fell to feed them according to the words of the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread. It is the promise of God that for every person born into the world, He has prepared enough for Him, and not only humans, but also animals and birds, even the sand on the ground, are being catered for. As we are talking now, our food for tomorrow is not ready. Our food for the next week, next month, next year, indeed for every day until eternity is ready. He has not refused to give us food day by day. The main trouble besetting the whole world is not what they will eat or drink or put on, but the selfish accumulation of wealth which they preserve for themselves without giving out to any person, without using them, but allow them to rot away while a great many people are dying of hunger. How many times will something happen to serve as a warning to you? It has been said that every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, and fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. What happened to you during the Nigerian Civil War? Were you left with even a cobo? Were you not going almost nude like animals? All your wealth 
gradually phased out and you were left at a position of abject poverty what brought about the whole situation it is love for wealth instead of loving god who created them and their fellow human beings this is god's instruction and advice it is incumbent upon every person to abide by it no matter your situation in life no matter the figment of your body do not seek to know any person before you assist him but once god has given you wealth if you come across any person in need god wants you to use your wealth for the good of others in love i want to tell you what happened to you when you complain that your wealth has been seriously depleted that your money is completely exhausted that all your money has been taken away by people in an extortionate way that some obtain it under false pretenses some stolen by thieves and others consuming fire it is because you are not faithful to god and you are beaten with few stripes but there is another punishment more serious than that and which will be and which will afflict you in future as i have already told you the children of israel were fed with manna from on high day by day but one of them collected the manna after eating to his satisfaction he kept part to reserve it for his tomorrow's meal at any point in time in every community there must always be a tempter and the temptation must always be revealed to somebody in the morning the manna melted it is this selfish attitude which has brought about all the woes and wretchedness in the world some time ago nigeria was said to be the richest country she even started giving loans to other countries but today she is the poorest country why has she become the poorest country now it is because she has not assisted the poor and the needy she does not make good use of the money the powers that be share the money into their own pockets others struggle to share the national cake each trying to grab as much as he can keep in the course of these struggles various avenues are opened through which thieves and swindlers also share in the booty god knows all about nigeria a great many people suffer and are afflicted as a result of this attitude every time it is reported that a house has been burnt thieves have broken into the banks robbers have burgled a shop have you used means to help the unfortunate ones as god has instructed if you if we were to understand that the wisdom given us by god is meant to be used for the good of others so that we remain in peace all money given is meant to be used in common with our fellow man all other things we have are meant to be used by mankind in common god does not regard that god does not regard that one thing is less superior than the other what remains to be done is for us to make good use of these resources in the service of god 
and for the good of our fellow worker in the vineyard. His statement does not imply that if you do not have, you should give. The statement is quite plain. He says those who have two coats should impart one to those who have none. Those who have should give to those who have not, so that there should be no sadness, no weeping, no regrets in this kingdom, and so that there may be no sickness. Do not set any condition for anything you for anything you do, neither promise paying at the end of the month nor pledge your property to indemnify yourself nor by asking for a fee before you render any services. If you behave in this way, you are completely overwhelmed with darkness and great suffering. Brethren, it does not, brethren, it does not so much matter whether you are educated or not. For I, educational attainment cannot influence it. Whether you sing or do not sing has nothing to do with the exterior dance or cannot also influence the turn of event. You cannot be exempted no matter what your station in life has been whatsoever God has bestowed on you use them to in use them in helping those who have not once you do this it is enough evident that you are practicing the word of God the spirit of oneness there are no certain countries practicing oneness communism if Therefore, every person in our country practices this gospel, there will be no theft, no death, no sickness, and murder will considerably be reduced, and every person will remain in peace and tranquility. That is what I have brought. What you hear today is the real truth. And it is brotherhood. Every person should be engaged somehow in order to help others less fortunate than himself. This does not mean that people should be idle. All hands should be on deck producing something not only to support oneself but to assist others. He has given you hands to work for him. He has given you eyes to see for him and he has given you mind to reason for him this is not a matter for you to wait until it is revealed to you in a vision or until you have a dream the spirit has already told you to work and earn a living and that whatever you have should be used in the service of God. Whether we like it or not, that is the indebtedness of every person to God. And if you do not comply with it, you are lost. It is said that to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of ram. Do what you may. You only deceive yourself if you are rich in the things of this world, but you see your brother who is in want and have need, but you shut up your bowels of compassion from him, how can the love of God dwell in you? God has given you 1,000 naira, but you come across a brother who has not got even a cobo, neither has he any clothing to cover his nudity. Must you wait for him to ask you for aid when you have known his needs? You have to give him money, buy clothes for him, and arrange for his food. 
God will surely bless you. This provision is neither grievous nor burdensome on you. If you have only one, you have no problem. God himself knows that you have only one and cannot give it to any person. The injunction is not binding on you. In the same token, if two of you have equal quantity of goods, it does not imply that you should add your own to what he already has. The injunction is also not binding on you. It does not imply that if two of you have 20 things each, that you should add 10 of yours to him, that he may have 30 while you have 10. What it does imply is that all those who have should look after those who have not. Our second lesson will now be read because in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established.